Now, a WGN investigates update on the hunt to get a tiny but potentially deadly device off Chicago streets. WGN's Ben Bradley joins us now with the news of a new arrest. Ben? Micah and Ray, last year we showed you how just a small piece of metal called a switch is able to convert handguns into machine guns. Today, prosecutors announced charges after federal agents found a stash of the switches inside a south suburban home. This is a Glock 17. And so is this. In fact, it's the same gun. The difference is an illegal part known as a switch that when fitted onto a Glock handgun transforms it from a semi-automatic to fully automatic pistol. It's similar to the now banned bump stock used to quickly kill so many at a Las Vegas concert in 2017. The ATF, Chicago police and other law enforcement agencies have been working to get the switches off the streets of Chicago. Federal prosecutors have now charged this man, Leonard Johnson, with firearms violations after ATF agents found 117 conversion switches along with guns and drugs in his Robbins home. Johnson allegedly told agents he was in the business of selling them for $500 a piece. There's no conceivable white reason for this device. There is none. Last year, Sheriff Tom Dart talked with our Joe Donlin about why demand is so high for this simple piece of metal. People will continue to try to acquire these because for someone who's involved with like drive-by shootings, gang members, and things like that, it's uh, good for them. And it changes the basically the entire nature of the gun. Last year, WGN Investigates reported the ATF had identified more than 2,500 individuals nationwide who may have obtained the part. At least 118 people possessing a total of 256 switches were from the Chicago region. Glocks do not come with clock on the on the slide. Experts say gun manufacturers don't produce the switches, which is why the underground market is so explosive and why law enforcement continues the hunt. All it could do is just harm more and more individuals. An ATF spokesperson told me this afternoon that these tiny pieces of metal pose a significant threat to public safety and agents continue to work to get them off our streets. Amazing how something so small can make a gun even deadlier. I can rank five hundred dollars a pop. Ben, even thanks. cheaper some yeah. places. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Ben. New lawsuit filed against Facebook.